Hi everyone, I'm here today to help you with the new mask. The new mask is a full face mask and this one has dual chambers. It's got one for the nose and one for the mouth. When you're diagnosed as a mouth breather, this is what they're going to ask you to wear, a full face mask. This one is a little bigger than the sleep weaver nasal mask, but it's so comfortable and it fits so well, you will not feel claustrophobic. So the things that are the same are you have a tag in the back to show you where it goes at the base of your neck. You're going to pull it on just like you would a bike helmet. Now I can't talk with it on, so I'm gonna tell you a couple of things ahead of time. The first thing you're gonna do is fit your nose. You wanna make sure that your nose is completely inside the nasal opening. You have exhalation valves that are down by the nozzle, which is on your mouth, just so you know they're there. You also have a nozzle that will rotate 360 degrees. In it is an asphyxia, anti-asphyxia valve. This will allow you to not have any problems should your power go off. You've got a quick release strap on the lower left and the lower right. You will be able to then fit your mouth second. So the first thing you do is fit your nose and make sure that it's not in your eyes, any part of the mask. When you go to fit your mouth, you wanna make fish lips. Yes, I'm serious, like that. And you're going to hold them while your pap machine reaches the pressure that you're prescribed. You will feel that seal at the bottom. You also wanna make sure that these vinyl straps that run down on either side of the mask do not go below your jawline. So let me show you. I'll fit my nose. Make sure it's in there, not above my eyes. My lips are in that opening. I'll lay back. Once your mask is on, you just shimmy it. This is the most comfortable full face mask ever. I've tried on many of them. You can sleep sideways on your belly. You won't shut off your pap pressure. Give it a try. You're gonna be so happy with the results. 